right, so here we go as round one gets underway. Two world-class level strikers here, and the expectation is we're gonna get a kickboxing match here in the octagon. Yes, we are going to get a striking match. One guy is very good at kicks, the other guy has unbelievable hands. Let's see what type of attack is going to win the battle of two great stand-up fighters. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by this gentleman. Oh, nice job with the knee strike there. That'll wake you up. He thought it would be available. He just knew he had to find the right time to throw it down with the right time. Another powerful kick there. A lot of volume with the feet tonight for him. It's unbelievable to watch somebody make kicking the base of their fighting style. He has shown us that it's possible. Big punch lands over the top. How's he going to follow this one up? And they are exchanging leather early. Looked like he might have landed there. Instead, a swing and a miss by Condon. Head kick. Oh, nice straight there by Condon. And he lands a kick to the leg now. Pretty good work on the feet tonight by Robbie Ball. Look at the whip action. That's something good for that kick. Good a combination as we have seen from Lawler all night tonight, DC. I mean, I love watching Robbie Lawler reinvent himself when he came into the UFC, become a new man, fight with a purpose, not only just to damage people, but also with the idea that he wanted to become the UFC champion. He did that and defended that belt multiple times with these types of skills that's on display tonight. Lawler gets caught with that punch. Not the easiest guy in the world to hit, but he got caught there. Yeah, he's mixed it all up. Clipped him with the right hand there. Beautiful body kick lands right under the elbow. Pretty nice knee there, DC. Great job finding the opportunity to land that strike. Two minutes have expired off the round one clock here. Oh, nice overhand left. Changes his stance. You'll see a lot of this from this fighter. Well, looks like Condit's kick to the body. That one blocked by the defense. Oh, he lands another strike to the body. Really starting to connect on a lot of shots to the midsection. And these will take their toll as this fight goes into the latter rounds. Big ball from punch lands. Now he gets back to range. Rips the body there. Really timing his shots nicely. Good tempo, very accurate, finding the range with relative ease. Yeah, he's doing a great job of really overwhelming his opponent with activity. He loaded up with it right in, too. Trying to establish that jab once again. Nice punch by Condit. Oh, man, hate to be hit with one of those knees to the body. every part of himself into these big leg kicks. Well, still plenty of time to go here in round one, but maybe to the surprise of his opponent, he has come out so aggressive here tonight, he has landed a ton of strikes here early and gotten off to a nice start. Visibly limping here. Man, is he timing his shots well here tonight, DC. It's hard to recall him being this accurate in the past. I mean, he is so sharp. And not only is he accurate, He's also keeping very busy. Oh, and he connects there. Pretty nice punch there. Great job finding the range to land those punches. Oh, head kick blocked, though, by Condon. Out of range. Range with that one. Range with that one. And he landed the right hand. Wild swing there. here just beautiful movement seamless transitions over and over these guys are doing things that you see in every jiu-jitsu gym around the country 
Well, there are a few things more fun to watch in mixed martial arts than these type of transitions and scrambles on the ground. High level grappling can really be entertaining. from the top. You don't want to take too many more of these ground and pound strikes. All right, so there's the end of the round, and the tide has officially turned a huge head strike to stun his opponent. We'll see which corner can adjust here moving forward. I mean, they've got to be celebrating. They've got to be happy. Everything's working. But the other side has to be concerned. They have to figure something out, make some sort of adjustment to try to change the tide of this fight. Okay, ready? Round two. You ready? Go. Second round underway. Condit gets tagged with a kick now. Let's see if he can rally. and pace. Oh! He's hurt. Serve him up. Go get him. Big knee to the body. Man, he's timing his shots nicely. It's like Tom Brady out there. He hasn't missed the target. I mean, you insist on bringing uh -huh. in Tom Brady. Stop it. John, uh -huh. stop it. Oh, big elbow. Here, and this is just a means by which to recover. He is stuck. He's starting to do some really significant damage to the body here. Another strike lands there. He needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. Oh! Good series of kicks by him there, DC. He certainly has that part of his game going tonight. He's a fantastic kickboxer, but tonight is the kicks that's leading the dance. Waller's lower jaw now starting to show signs of swelling. Nice straight punch. Caught that kick there. Oh! Back to the feet. Boys hurt bad. He's got to press him. He's got to go chase that finish. Oh, he might be out. the way he drew it up as he gets the knockout victory here tonight. It's hard to land a strike more flush than he did right there, and I'm not even sure the opponent saw it coming. So he'll see the replay and probably shake his head, but ultimately this is a huge result and a huge win for that fighter here tonight. go inside the octagon where Bruce Buffer has the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Dan Mugliano has called a stop to this contest at two minutes, four seconds of the round. All right, coming up next, it is a welterweight matchup between Nate Diaz and Conor McGregor.
round one, Nate Diaz versus Conor McGregor. Championship feel in this arena tonight, my man. And they don't even have to have a belt on the line because right. of the animosity, because of the way the first two fights went together. Diaz with the submission in the first fight, thought he won the second fight. Conor building back up and beating him by decision. These are two of the best fighters in the world and just a phenomenal matchup every time they get matched. Well, perhaps a side of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by this gentleman. Nice kick. And he landed the right hand there. Oh, nice strike by McGregor there. I mean, Conor McGregor is a fantastic striker, and once again, that skill is on display. Man, he's timing his shots nicely. It's like Tom Brady out there. He hasn't missed the target. I mean, you insist on bringing in Tom Brady. Stop, stop, stop. Just out of range with that right hand. Good stick. Both guys throwing potential fight enders here in the early going. Nice one, two there. Huge block there. Look at him chopping the wood. Chop the wood with those leg kicks. Big, straight left. Clipped him with the right hand there. Well, a lot of people think he might have the best jab in this division, certainly using it effectively here. I mean, one of the best jabs in the world across all combat sports. The way that it just comes out, it's beautiful. The backside hand is always at the chin. The elbows tucked to the ribs. The jab goes out. The jab comes right back to the face. It's picture-perfect technique, almost like a Tybal class or something like that. So 31 total strikes have landed for Nate Diaz. That oh, knee, big knee there. That knee hurt him. Oh! Oh, here comes the kick. That one blocked by Diaz. Beautiful strike. All right, he engages in a single collar tie here. And there comes the separation now. Nice leg kick there by Connor. Looking to land the right just out of range. Beautiful. Single collar tie now. And they separate. He's throwing every part of himself into these big leg kicks. All right, so a nice shot there defensively to raise the guard and prevent any damage. Those hands never leave where they're supposed to be. And if you do that, most times you pull a block shot that's incoming. Oh, and he caught the kick. Oh, nice right hand. Diaz gets hit by that leg kick. May not be a bad idea to start to check some of these. Great punch. Well, now if you're the opponent, you really got to be careful as Diaz is able to find a home for that right hand yet again. When Diaz starts landing the right hand, you have got to stay firm. You have got to dig your heels in the ground and say, no way you're going to just run me over. Easier said than done. That was a beautiful hook. It landed perfectly. leg kick. Oh, effective punch there by Diaz. There's no give on that leg kick. Well, you gotta like the way he has started this fight tonight. He has come out aggressively, connecting on a lot of shots here in this first round. No doubt a crowd-pleasing approach from him here tonight. Switching stances here. Oh! Dude's hurt. Serve him up. Go get him. Oh, he might be out. Oh, straight right. Just misses there with the left. Oh, beautiful jab by him there. Got that to the target quickly. He's dictating the fight with a jab. McGregor's lower jaw does not look good. I don't think it's broken, but starting to show some obvious signs of struggle. Timing his shots pretty well here early, DC. He's doing a great job of mixing things up, keeping busy, being very accurate. Oh, and there's a land with the kick, so... Wow! Wow! Oh! Big knee to the bottom! Round two winding down. All right, that's the end of the round. You see the...
cut on his lip, ladies and gentlemen, is only getting worse. Likely gonna need to get stitched up after the fact, and blood in and around the mouth area could upset his breathing pattern. Not a good reality for him here tonight. So the crowd voicing its appreciation after that round. We had a knockdown courtesy of a punch midway through. DC, here's your highlight. It was straight. He threw him in combination and landed that big punch that really did hurt his opponent. Lesser men would have been done. He's got a tough guy in front of him. He will have to go back to this again. He will have to get back to this action if he wants to get the desired finish. Round two now, Nate Diaz. Against that man, you might recognize him. He is commonly good. Nice punch there by McGregor. Well, he continues to land a high number of strikes here, just like he did in the previous round. This is a world-class display of striking here tonight. Oh, that right hand is on point. Strong defense there to block the shot. Nice instincts. Hard shots landing on both sides here. Ooh, looking to go to the leg kick here, just out of range. Now his opponent's really on the ropes. His opponent's on beat street. He's hurt so bad. I don't know what he's gonna do to stay in this fight. Oh! What a fantastic strike to throw at the exact right moment. He deserves it. Oh! Tonight, he's landed some significant strikes, but his corner's looking for him to mix it up a little bit more. And taken down here by Diaz. Well, he's up, but he is hurting for certain. The finish could come at any time. You can really limit the mobility of your opponent with those leg kicks. Well, he continues to find the openings tonight. It's beautiful. Oh, right there. I'm not sure his opponent knows where he is. No, he is on Beach Street right now. He's seeing Tweety Bird over the top of his head. When you take a hook like that, you are on wobbly leg. Well, body language is a great indicator, and that is one confident man right there after a big knockdown in the previous round. Oh! There's no tell on that leg kick. So 109 total strikes have already landed for Nate Diaz. And landing with 35% accuracy against Conor McGregor. Gregor's lower jaw very swollen now. Time to bite down on the mouthpiece and move forward. Both of these gentlemen are putting it on the line. Stuffs the takedown there. How good is his takedown defense? Oh, how about the transition to the ankle pick? Now we will see. Oh, a violent strike to the body. This could be the end. This fight is close to being stopped. That was a massive shot from the body. And they separate. Much improved defensively as they block the shot. He needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. Oh, and there he is. come together, man, you just hear the, the punches and everything landing. Both, both very powerful, very, very explosive. Let's go! Get him off you! Get him off! All right, north-south position now. We'll see how he chooses to proceed. Doesn't gain top position. What a beautiful takedown, but he just waited for one second before he can secure his top position. All right, he's very comfortable fighting off his back, DC. Now looks like he's trying to hip escape. Yeah, he's trying to hip escape or maybe look for a Kimura here. All right, well, he continues to manhandle him here on the ground. Now maybe trying to get to a choke position here, DC. Under one minute now remains in round two. 
going to start looking to try to attack a rear naked choke, and that's exactly what he's doing. Oh! Getting tighter. Courtesy of the rear naked choke. That guy's got a squeeze on him. He does a great job securing the position, getting under the neck, and then hiding his hands in order to get the finish. Fantastic performance by this fighter. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> well, yeah, so the work in the gym pays off here tonight as he gets the win by submission. Gorgeous setup on the choke, and I think even better execution down the stretch. Clearly, it was sunk in deep. His opponent had no choice but to tap or take a nap. In this case, he chose to tap out. All right, so a wild round and a wild sequence there on the ground, DC. Talk us through the highlight. He's such a phenomenal grappler. I don't understand how people don't know that this guy wants to submit you. He is the best grappler, best submission specialist we've seen in a long time. So there he is, your winner by submission tonight, and that is how you put the rest of the division on notice. A huge result for it here tonight. We send it inside the gentlemen, octagon. Bruce Buffer has the official decision. Contest at four minutes, 39 seconds of round number two. Join the winner by tap out, Nate Diaz! Well, the celebration is... Coming up next, a UFC welterweight division matchup. You ready? You ready? All right, it is the UFC's unofficial home base, T-Mobile Arena, here in Las Vegas. You're trying to take it down. There you go. Oh, how about the slam there? That one cannot feel good. Not allow him to get leverage on the bottom. What a sweep. Oh, that is a high level transition to half guard and now in a position to do a lot of damage. Watch him sit back on the leg and land big ground and pound. Well, there are a few things more fun to watch in mixed martial arts than these type of transitions and scrambles on the ground. High level grappling can really be entertaining. All right, he's trying to control posture here. Now trying to hip escape. He's just trying to move out of this position off the bottom. Oh, reversal here, DC. What a way to switch the position. Fantastic movement by the bottom fighter. All right, he's got side control here, DC. You know, he's got a lot of different submissions in his arsenal once this fight gets to the ground. All right, bottom fighter here, maybe looking to hip escape, DC. Good, solid strike on the ground. He's putting him in exactly the position he needs to be in right now. He's able to relax here, and he understands, being a veteran of so many fights, that as long as he's on top, he's winning. He feels like he's winning here.
working inside the closed guard now. All right, so you got to be careful playing on the ground with this guy. You don't want to mess around for too long. Under three minutes now to go on the round. All right, he's sort of hanging out here unguarded, DC. Not sure if he's trying to bait him in or what, but not great body language here. Well, he's got his back now. Now he'll try to start attacking a rear naked choke from the top position. He is doing a really good job of relaxing, not panicking because he's getting choked. And this might just be a matter of time. <laughs> there is the tap. So he submits courtesy of the rear naked choke. That guy's got a squeeze on. He does a great job securing the position, getting under the neck, and then hiding his hands in order to get the finish. Fantastic performance by this fighter. Well, let's take a look back at the replay as he gets it done by submission tonight, champ. He does a great job of staying patient. He doesn't rush or panic. You are never safe when you're fighting this guy. You're in a lot of trouble. You're in a lot of trouble the entire time when you're this good in the submissions. So a seminal moment. Now we go inside the octagon. Bruce... B It is a welterweight matchup between Steven Thompson and Matt the Immortal Brown. seen in the UFC. Oh! Huge right hand! Oh, straight right! Just missed with the left there. Brown gets caught with that punch. They're certainly getting after it early. Continues to mix it up, going to the head, mixing in some body shots. that these guys might burn themselves out. Oh, they're going to exhaust themselves. Oh! Whoa! Well, there are a few things more fun to watch in mixed martial arts than these type of transitions and scrambles on the ground. High level grappling can really be entertaining. Oh, he's got the ground and pound going now. is the weapon of choice. He's putting him in exactly the positions he needs to be in right now. He's able to relax here. And he understands, being a veteran of so many fights, that as long as he's on top, he's winning. He feels like he's winning here. Under three minutes now to go on the round. While showing no signs of slowing down, 41 total strikes have now landed for one of the best to ever do it, Stephen Wonderboy Thompson. Oh, nice connection there with a the punch, DC. Great time to land that punch. Oh, he heard a battle of the jab. And he landed the right hand there. Back to the jab now, no good. Brown's lower jaw now starting to show signs of swelling. Very nice outside leg kick by him there, DC. We'll see if he follows it up here. He's really driving his shit into his opponent's thighs. Beating his leg up. Yeah, he's mixing it all up. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one? Oh! Oh, he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's gotta press 
Listen, he's got to go chase that finish down now. Oh, he might be out. Under two minutes to go in a back and forth first round here. an absolutely gorgeous shot to spell the end for his opponent. Crowd is absolutely loving it. He gets the near-perfect land. I'm not even sure his opponent saw it coming, but just the way he drew it up here tonight, saw that little crack of an opening and barged right through it to get the knock. All right, let's get you some replays now. Certainly a lot for our replay guys to work with in the truck. This was a clinic tonight in terms of mixed martial arts acumen in every realm of the game. A full-on display of all of his skills. He did everything in this championship-winning performance. He used his wrestling. He used his elbows. He used his pace and pressure to really wear down his opponent so that he can get his hand raised. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Eve.